Padres hosting the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are plus 136 on the money line. The Padres are minus 162. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Cardinals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 142, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. And the Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by a minimum of two. And thank you for everyone who's joined the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rossportstalk.com. Click on the Memberships tab. And it's a paid membership. You'll get my best bets. And today was probably the worst day that I've had in a very long time. But I have to be transparent, good or bad. Yesterday was perfect. And today, of course, I couldn't hit water if I fell out of a boat. Uh, but uh, the Cardinals are 2-3 and three in Woodford's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.4, averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and three strikeouts per game in those games. They've lost his last two starts. The under is hitting his last two starts, and the under is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. For the Padres, they're 3-2 in Martinez's last five starts. He's got an ERA of .6, averaging four and a third innings pitched. 3.4 strikeouts. The under is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. And in his last two against the Cardinals, five innings, six and a half hits, three earned runs, one and a half strikeouts, three walks, a half a home run, and 81.5 pitches. One game was last year, and then another game was in 2016. So, eh. Now, head-to-head. The Cardinals are 6-4. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. The home team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 8-2. There's been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-2-2, two, and, two, and the under 8.5 runs is 6-4. The Cardinals are 4-6 and six in their last 10. They're on a four-game losing streak, and I imagine they want to keep losing because they want to enhance their draft status. And the Padres are 9-1 in their last 10, and they're on an eight-game winning streak, and they're one of these teams that I feel bad for their fan base because much like the Yankees, they spent a whole bunch of money, and they haven't won anything. I'm going to take the Padres with the money line. I'm going to take the Padres laying the runs, and I am going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.